Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. Vanessa has picture day today. She's having breakfast right now and she's gonna wear that cute Mickey striped shirt. <laughs> I don't know how to call it. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's, it's a striped shirt and the pocket is blue with white Mickeys. Mm -hmm. So Ariel has work early today. He starts at, I think he said he starts at eight but it's already 7.30 and he went to go drop off AJ at school and he's not back yet. So I hope he gets back soon, otherwise he might be late. He hasn't even had breakfast yet, but then again, he never really eats breakfast. He's just having a cup of coffee. I'm gonna make my coffee and my breakfast now. So since Ariel's going to work early today, I'm gonna take Vanessa to school. Vanessa, what time do we leave for school? Eight fifteen. Okay, so I'm gonna use this mug today. Disneyland 60th anniversary, and then inside it says "Imagine 60 years of magic," and then "Imagine more." You guys probably can't see that, but my friend Jennifer got this for me. Uh, I think I'm just gonna drink Starbucks House Blend, and then I'm gonna eat the last blueberry muffin. So it doesn't go bad. I bought this small pack of turkey thinking it was going to be enough for Vanessa, but it's been like two days and she's already halfway. So next time I'm going to buy the big one. Actually, I have to go back to the store today because we're all out of bread. And, and then I'll buy her more turkey. Do you guys remember my niece, Eliana? Well, they're, they're, they're on a vacation right now. They're going to Universal Studios, San Diego, I think they're going to Arizona and Vegas. And on their way back, because they live in Seattle, on their way back home, they're gonna stop by here and visit us. They drove down yesterday and she actually texted me. She was like, we're driving through Sacramento. But they're gonna, they're gonna visit us on their way home. So the boys' birthdays are next month. AJ's is September 10th and Ariel's is September 13th. But because Ariel is gonna be gone, Labor Day weekend, and then the weekend of the 17th, he has to have those days off. He won't have he won't have AJ's birthday off. He's normally off on Saturdays, like every Saturday. Oh gosh, eggs are boiling. Okay, gotta turn that off, leave the lid on, and then let it sit in the hot water for like 10 minutes. Anyways, I was saying he's not going to be able to get September 10th off because he requested the, all those other days off. So we're going to celebrate AJ's birthday on the 11th, but it's only going to be the three of us because AJ has practice anyways on Saturdays. He has bad practice. So we're going to celebrate on the 11th. And then for Ariel's birthday, I told him I would just take him out to dinner on the 14th, which is a Wednesday because he has a day off on Wednesdays too. So. He's not gonna be able to come with us, but it's okay. He'll get he'll get like his own special dinner on the 14th. For some reason, I thought Ariel started at five or not five at eight, but he started at 8:30, so he wasn't late. Cause I was like, how come you're not going to work yet? You're gonna be late. Okay, now I'm gonna take Vanessa to school. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. For lunch today, I'm gonna have this salad that I got at the grocery store. It's the chicken fajita salad, and then they don't these salads. I don't think I mentioned they don't come with dressing, but at the grocery store, like next to the salads, they sell like the individually, you know, those packs of salad dressing, but I have a ton of salad dressing, so I didn't get any. And I'm just gonna eat it with the with this light Caesar dressing. Yesterday I had it with ranch. What else do I have? I have Thousand Island. So I have ranch, Thousand Island, and then I also have this one is really good from Trader Joe's, the sesame soy ginger vinaigrette. That one's one of my favorites, but I'm just going to have it with this because, look, I haven't even, like, touched this. I had this at my parents' house, and my dad made me bring it home because he knows they're not going to use it. And this is going to expire in January. It's still, a far, it's still far from now, but I should use it up. I like these salads from Winco, they're really good, but I also like them because they have this barcode and the barcode actually works with the MyFitnessPal app, so if you're counting your calories um, and your other macros and stuff, you can scan that and it usually will come up, uh, it'll come up with the calories and all that stuff. You guys, this is so good. Well, the dressing itself is really good. It's more like a, 
it's not like a creamy Caesar, it's more like a vinaigrette type of Caesar, so it's really tangy. I'm gonna watch my friend Kat's videos, Catherine Calderon, and I'm gonna eat my lunch while I watch. I am all done with my salad. I like killed it again, you guys. These salads are so good. I think I'm addicted. Um, and I like the convenience of these salads. Like, and they're so affordable, like three bucks. Yes. Way better than me buying all the ingredients and then having to assemble them every single day. Also, I get tired of eating the same salad. So if I was to buy like the ingredients, I would just be eating the same salad every day. And I don't like that, you guys. I need a, a variety. Uh, and when I used to work at the office, uh, we had a cafeteria there and they had different salads every day. So I would usually just eat salad there every day. So I, I think I kind of got spoiled with that, you guys. <laughs> So I'm so happy I discovered these salads. I need to go back to Winco today to buy bread and turkey breast for the kids for their lunch. So I'm gonna pick up two more salads because I only have one left. I only bought three because I didn't want them to like, you know, get old. So I have one left for tomorrow. I'm gonna buy two more. So I have one for Thursday and Friday. And then, you know, you guys know I have my dinners already prepared. Then I'll be set. And then I don't think I'm gonna, I think on the weekends will probably be like cheat days even though I should just pick one out of the two days. Um, I'm not gonna go all out though, I'm not gonna go like crazy eat junk food but I'm not gonna meal prep for the weekends. I need to do laundry today actually because yesterday was laundry day, Monday, but for some reason I kind of forgot to do laundry. I think I was just so busy with work that it just totally slipped my mind but now i have a lot of laundry to do so i need to get that started and look at this mess that i made so remember yesterday i had like these two makeup bags on top of my dresser those were actually filled with makeup as well so i dumped everything out i still have like a bunch of these things here samples and some other random stuff but i was wondering like where's all my foundation because i don't know if you guys remember i showed like all the drawers so that's like the everyday makeup lipsticks i actually added more and it goes like all the way to the back and then i moved the eyeshadows down to this drawer because i put my foundations in this drawer so i have my primers foundations bb creams bronzers blush highlighters and then at the back i have like my mascaras and eyeliners so that's not really gonna work it's like so hard for me to get to the back definitely want to get some little trays in there and then at the bottom i just have this bag is filled with my lashes and then this makeup bag is filled with other makeup bags and then i have some hair stuff well i just have bobby pins and then i have these Style, it's called stylus tape. It's from Victoria's Secret and it's just basically tape that you can use like on your dresses or your shirts or your tops um, If they're kind of low or if they keep falling off you can use this tape to make it stick in place And this is just random stuff. I think I might have to throw like these mascaras out. They might be old This might be really old too um, I don't think I like this and these yeah, I think these are probably garbage. Well, not this and not this, and not that, and not that. But these are old. So you can see my laundry is overflowing. These two baskets are, well this one's empty actually. This one has a little bit of clothes in there. I try to just use one basket so that I won't have a lot of laundry. So when I see that it's full, it's usually on Mondays, it's, I usually do it, but for some reason, I did not, for some reason I have like a lot of dirty clothes. I don't know what happened. Okay, turn that on. This is where the kids keep their dirty clothes. They just have, I just have this hamper here for them. Makes it a lot easier for them and won't take up a lot of room in their, in their, uh, won't take up a lot of space in their room. Boy, I cannot talk today. Okay, let's go put these back. Oh, actually, why am I bringing this? No, that's dirty clothes, so I'm gonna leave that there. This one's empty, I'm gonna put this one back. So I'm currently working on getting this area cleaned and just, you know, there's so much clutter on it so I want to get it clean and organized. The things that are going to stay are these pictures right here. I need to like tape this up or something. This is actually AJ's picture so I think he wants this in his room. 
This is from last year's band from his CME Band and Orchestra Festival. So I'm gonna put that in his room actually. Okay. And so the only things staying are these pictures. This is me when I was a baby. I think I've showed it to you guys before. That's the day I was born. This is a toy that needs to get put away. The castle is staying. I need to put away all my sunglasses, all this stuff here, all of this. So basically everything needs to go except for the puzzle and the pictures. And I found this in the cabinet at the very, very top. It does not belong to us, so I'm going to throw that away. And I finally got this fixed and organized the way I like it. I was waiting, I was waiting until we would get um until we could get a ladder or a step stool, but I realized that top shelf actually isn't too too high, so I just used a chair and I stepped on the chair and it was able to reach it. So I moved my candles to the very top shelf. They used to be on this shelf. I just moved them to the very top and we have all of our extra lotions. I have my holiday candle holders there. I have a Christmas one in the back. You can't see it, but it's back there. And then these are all of our towels. I have two more towels in the washing machine right now that I'll just add. I'll probably make it fit right there. So when we have guests come over, we have extra towels. This is like our little medicine section. And then these are my kitchen towels right here and I have all this extra space for anything that I get in the future maybe more kitchen towels or I don't know just whatever but I think it looks much much better actually I think I can put the sunblock in here that could be a new home for the sunblocks because I have a whole bunch in my closet not in my closet but in my bathroom so I think I'll put them out here instead for dinner tonight I am making Filipino spaghetti so there's my sauce just going to let that simmer away while I'm waiting for the noodles. I'm actually still waiting for the water to boil. But in there I just have ground beef, hot dogs, one can of the Hunt's pasta sauce, and one jar of Jufran or banana sauce. It's basically a Filipino ketchup. And then these are the noodles that I like to use. These are from Costco. I love these noodles. Here is my dinner. So I just basically heated up the food that I prepared yesterday. I have my pork chop the veggie medley, and then some of the kale. Um, I just transferred it to a plate after I warmed it up in the microwave just because I like to eat it from the plate, it's much easier. And I also just took out tomorrow's dinner from the freezer, put that in the fridge so it can defrost um, for the whole day, for the rest of the night and tomorrow. You hungry? Dinner is almost ready, it's gonna be ready in like 30 seconds. <laughs> and here is the Filipino spaghetti and then we're gonna top it with some cheese. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. It's so good. We're out here, Ashley Furniture. Hopefully we can find a couch. Hopefully, hopefully. I wanted to go to this other furniture store, but Ariel didn't want to because he said it's generic. <laughs> He's so weird. You could save a lot of money when you go to those other like no-name furniture stores. It's okay, hopefully they have some sales. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so here we are, Ashley Furniture. The man at the front said this is the largest Ashley Furniture warehouse that they have. Or in California. In California, oh, okay. Oh, I like this one. I want like a gray or a cream. Yeah, that's way too big, you guys. Too big. Don't even sit on it because you're gonna fall in love with it. Let's keep moving. Yeah, that's why, let's keep moving. Look at these kids. Look at them, they don't wanna get up. AJ wants this couch. OMG. Can you charge your phone in there? Are there any outlets? No. Oh, then I'm, I, forget it. It's not good enough. <laughs> so this one here comes with an outlet. You can, oh, USB, you can charge your phone. That's crazy, huh? Couches nowadays, you can charge your phone. Okay, bye. Okay, we got our sofa. It's not gonna get delivered until September 1st from this Ashley Furniture. Actually, he said this is the largest Ashley Furniture in the country. It is pretty big. Okay, so we went to Winco again. I got some taco seasoning because I'm running low. I usually buy like the one that comes in the, it's like a bottle, but I just bought that. And then a big one, a big, a big one, a big container of turkey from Vanessa. A big taco. And they wanted this fruit snack. I bought more salads. I just bought two. And Vanessa likes these, so she got this. They're just like fruit roll-ups. Here's your fruit roll-ups. You can put Thank those you. away. You're welcome. And then 
They got Rice Krispie Treats with M&M's. Lots of junk food for the kitties. And then Ariel asked for soda. Coke for his Hennessy. And we got bread. Here, put the bread away, please. Thank you. My room is a disaster. It's so messy, you guys. This is horrible. But look what we did. We built the second dresser. All we have to do now are, is to build the... Hold on, I need to catch my breath. Whew. All we have to do now is build the drawers. And I have to fold all this laundry before I can go to bed because I have nowhere to put the clothes. How come you're not going to sleep yet? It's already past your bedtime. Oh. It's 9.50. should go to sleep now. It's not really past your bedtime, but it's almost your bedtime. Ten more minutes, you guys, okay? What's up, everyone? It is time to end the vlog. It is time to go to sleep. It is now 11.30, and I'm off tomorrow, so I can stay up as long as I want. But anyways, it's time to end the vlog, and good night, and we'll see you guys. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.